YouTube. Alright, thanks for joining me for another video. Unfortunately, it looks like it's about to rain again for the 187th time in the week. Um, so, for the past couple of months, I would say seven months, the car has had some type of hesitation, like a, a stuttering, sputtering when I hit the, uh, the gas pedal. Then sometimes it's perfectly fine. It doesn't do anything at all. So, so I have replaced... Uh, the spark plugs first anything with like when you press the gas pedal you need to go you know to you know items with fuel and air mixture to make the car go so everything from here this is new you see in the video I replaced the uh, mass airflow sensor and I replaced the spark plugs and now I have replaced all of the coil packs now with that being said replacing all of that it still has like a hesitation and sputtering so I'm kind of saying to myself, what should I do? So usually around 100,000 miles, this car just hit 124,000. These need to be replaced, the wires. Now during the pandemic and it's so-called over with now, um, I, I can't find the Bosch ones anymore. If I did find one, uh, one place had it for sale for $800. Like, yeah, I don't think so. So I just went down to my local, uh, not car quest but advanced auto parts again all right so actually uh came back the next day and it is raining and it's very cold it's like 40 degrees outside which is odd uh for almost in june so i put my tent up because it's been raining for 24 hours straight practically um so moving on to something else all right so what i'm gonna have to do is uh just take one wire at a time and uh take those off uh, like that because I don't know what size is what uh, Especially in a box, you know, nothing is is numbered or the lengths are are similar but longer But I don't really understand so we're just gonna take one off at a time and compare it All right, so it's best just to take your t25 and uh, Just remove All of them together so that they uh, Kind of out so just take the coil packs out and uh, all right, and I usually take a magnet to pull all these off because they will fly down in the engine compartment for some reason. So just remember, these are the uh, T25 bolts for that. And they will fly down inside here, like off the quickness and go somewhere into the abyss. Which is so odd. <laughs> But it's pretty simple. Once you get them out of the car, um, you know, you can just quickly just pop them off. Uh, kind of simple with two hands. Like that, you know, and they're, they're pretty much done, you know, with taking each one of these off to replace them. But it's better just to take it off the car and that way you can just uh, pop them on and then put them back in place, you know, somewhere on the table easier than kind of what I'm doing right now. So you just never know what kind of adventures you may have. Um, while taking off one of the uh, spark plug wires, it kind of glued itself to the uh, spark plug. So now I have to remove uh, a spark plug. Yeah. All right, so taking that spark plug out, that Actually, it's broke apart. That's what happened to it. All right, so luckily I got an extra um, spark plug wire in the count that I bought. I only bought four, but somehow five were in there. So luckily, this comes in handy to put that back in there real quick. All right, so I'm telling you, it's probably good to have that uh, tool to get these off because some of these are kind of rough and tough to get on there. So, especially as you get back here in the back, it's not a lot of room to work with. But, all right, so I got the last one off for the back. It's a G, but oh well. Gotta do what I gotta do. All these everywhere.
All right, and once again, just take a T25 and tighten your bolts up on there. Don't do it too tight because uh, these magnesium screws will fall off. And if you can find them online, I think they're like $5 each. So, yeah. All right, and then, you know, remember to put your what's calls back on. Mine's just broken up pretty badly over the past 20, almost 21 years. Just make sure they're down in there. Ooh, that one is on top. Let's really tighten that up. Okay. Just make sure they're down in there. Ooh, that one is on top. All right. Food. And uh, let's put everything back together and start it up and see what happens. All right. So let's go ahead and give it a test run and, I mean, uh, start up and see what happens.